y'all, it's your girl Sims for LXO, and I'm back with not another episode or LP. This is a different video, okay? So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Go ahead and turn on the bell to get notified of all new videos so you don't miss out. And go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up towards the end if you would like to, okay? Without further ado, let's get into it. So disclaimer alert, if you guys hear a bunch of shit in my background, I'm sorry. I'm like cleaning everything. I got the dryer and the washer going. I got my dishwasher going and my heat is on because it is cold, okay? So if you hear all that, I apologize in advance. Hopefully this doesn't ruin the whole aesthetic of the video for you. But today is a little something different, okay? I had someone who commented on one of my videos asking if I could share how I take my photos for my Sims 4 and like how I do my thumbnails and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to do that today. So I'm on my Tumblr right now. You can go ahead and follow me, okay, booze? It's Sims 4 LXO. Oh, okay, you can't miss me. It's the same name as my YouTube, okay? And uh, the link will also be in the description of my Tumblr. I have a bunch of stuff in my likes and actually matter of fact I got one pose right here that I have so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to get the poses and what you need to download and how to put it in your game and then how to do the poses in your game and everything okay you may make sure you guys always read the description of whoever the CC or mod creator is because you don't want to miss out on any extra information that you might need for this um it's nothing really too major to go into poses when you download them or anything just as long as you have andrew's pose player so let's go ahead and look at look up that real quick andrew pose player sims 4 okay so this is what the website is looking like this is what it should look like when you down or when you go there it's the sims 4 studio andrew's studio so um, I already know what all this says, but if you don't, um, go ahead and read that on your own. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and go down to the download. So it gives you two options. I think this is Mega and then the Google Docs. So I normally, since I have Google and stuff like that, I just go to the Google Docs and I download it that way. So it's going to bring you with two files here the package and the scripts files you need both of these in order for it to work so you're going to go ahead and hit download if you're going to the um, google if you're not doing google you need and you want to do mega for some reason wh whatever your preference is and you know how to use mega bring it up and hit the download button and it's the same thing okay so you need andrew's pose player and you also need andrew's um teleport any sim so type that in google teleport any sim and it should bring you to sims 4 studio as well and this is what the website looks like so again you can read that on your own if you would like to and just scroll down and i'm going to click download and this is since for their download they only have mega so we're going to click that and we're going to hit the download button and it's the same thing so now that we've got those two downloaded, those are the two key things that we need in order for the poses to work. So now that we got those downloaded, we're going to go and download some poses. Now, I'm not going to do the pregnancy pose pack because in order for that to look better, I will need the um, I'll need like a pregnant sim and I don't have a pregnant sim right now. So I'm just going to go to this person here on Patreon. I think the name is Syophobus. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I'm just going to click here to see if they have couple. They do. We're going to go to couple poses. And here's their list. So this is free CC. Free poses that they have. So I'm going to just scroll. I'm going to find like a really cute one. Okay. I'm being picky right now. <laughs> so I'm going to just keep scrolling. Oh, I'm going to do this one. And whatever files that it is for them to download, you will need to download. So we need both of those in order to use that pose. So they have a bunch of other ones here. Like this is really cute. Like if your sim just got married, you can use that pose or whatever. But I'm just going to do that pose for now. Okay. And now I'm going to exit out. And I'm going to click on my file explore button. Now once you go there, go to your downloads because that's where your downloads will show up. Now here are the um, downloads that we downloaded today. So there's our pose and there's the teleport in a sim and there's the Andrew pose player. 
Now, as you can see, these are uh, zipped files, so we need to extract those. It's very simple, very easy to extract these, okay? There's nothing to it. So what you want to do is click on it, hit extract file or extract all, and hit extract, and it will auto-populate the file that we need. And it will show up in your downloads right here. And it's going to be unzipped. That's what you want. You don't want a zipped file because it's not going to work. It's not going to work at all. So once we extracted it, go ahead and delete the zipped file and keep the unzipped. So we're going to do the same thing to the other one. Extract this. Hit the X and it will show up. And now we can delete the zipped file. Okay. Now we're going to take all of these and if you want to leave those in the files that's fine just as long as it's not two folders deep and by that i mean having this file and then putting it into another folder no don't do that because it won't work just leave it in one file and put it into your mods folder so we're going to take all four of those put on our desktop for right for right now click on documents go to electronic art sims 4 go to your mods folder highlight those four things again and put it in your mods folder I already have these files, so it's going to show up, obviously, but that's just showing you guys how to do it. So now we're going to click on our game, open it up, go to a household that you want to do photos with, and then we'll go from there. Okay, everybody. So once you are in your game and in your household that you want to do photos with, um, in mine, I have Milan and Isaac here because I love them and I miss them so much. So once you get everything in your game and you're in here, you want to go to build mode. So that's where your um, teleport any sim is going to be. It's going to be in build mode. So go ahead and type in teleport. You don't even have to type in the whole thing. Just type in teleport and it will come sim teleporter destination. So that's what comes up. And this is what it will look like right here. So you can place this anywhere in the room that you want to do the photos. I just chose right here because I haven't, they've got their house updated and I, I'm just not ready to show it yet until the second season, guys. So, but you can put your teleporter anywhere. I will show you guys like different poses and stuff because I haven't updated their room yet. So I'll, let, I'll go in there too. So yeah, like I said, you can put the teleport teleporter anywhere in the house that you want to do it so I'm gonna do the photos right here I'm gonna put one right here and then you're gonna need two because it's two sims now make sure when you put for two sims or more than two sims you put them put the teleporter on top of each other that's how the pose is gonna work if you put them next to each other the pose is not going to work so let me repeat that. You have to put the teleporter on top of each other for however many sims that you want in this photo or however many that you need in the photo, like if you were doing like a friend's one. So in my situation, I have two sims. So I'm going to click. I clicked once and then I'm going to click again. And now the sim teleporters are on top of each other. That's the only way the photo or the poses will work. Okay. So now that we got those, we're going to go back into live mode. And then if you have MC Command Center, if you want to change their outfits, let's say you made your couple um, couple's outfit and you want to change it, go ahead and do, you can do that first or you can do it while they're in the pose. Just make sure you pause your game. Okay, you can go in MC Command Center, Center and change their outfits if you want to. Or before um, you teleport them to this spot, go ahead and just have them change their clothes, okay? So, once we got all that figured out, it's going to give you two options here. There's one going to be summon a sim to here or teleport a sim here. If your sims are already on the lot and you want to do the photo, click teleport sim. Summon a sim to here basically means if the sim is not on that lot that you're on, but you want to bring them, and it lists all of the sims, like even townies, but it also lists sims that you've made that you want to summon here, okay? But in my case, my sims are right here. They're on this lot. I don't need to summon them or anybody else. I just want them in the photo. So I am going to click teleport a sim here. Now, I'm going to, you, you only can click one at a time. 
So I'm going to teleport Isaac to that spot. And then, and to make it easier for you, once you teleport your next sim to this spot, it's kind of hard to click which sim that you want to do the pose with. So in this case, I'm going to make it easy and show you guys just how to do the pose, okay? So now that we got him teleported to that spot, we're going to click on our sim. Now we're going to go through more choices. And now this is, this is what I was talking about, pose by name or pose by pack. If you know the name of the pose pack that you downloaded, you can go ahead and click this and type in the name. And it should come back. And it should come up. I've never used this before. I don't ever use this, honestly, because I have a lot of poses in my game and I don't remember the names. But if you download, if you just downloaded one pose and you know the name of it, just type it in and it'll come up, okay? But in my case, I never use it. You don't have to use it because you have the other option. So let's go back. Let's click on them. Pose by pack. So, and, and then this should pop up. So this shows all of the poses that you have in your game. Now, I'm going to look for the one that I just downloaded. Sometimes it shows up at the bottom or it could show up in the middle. I don't really know. You just have you just have to scroll through it to find it, okay? So, I'm going to try to find the one that I just... Okay, so this is the one that I just downloaded. Now, it's going to show you the poses that they have. This is all of them. Now, you got to make sure that you read these, this little parts right here, and pay attention. So, this... It's, number one means this is the first pose. And the F stands for female. And the M stands for male. Some of the poses say the same thing like that, and then some of them don't. So you just have to read which one and um, to put it on the right sim, okay? So since he's a male, we're going to go to the first. These two, this, these two right here is the first pose. But the one just the F just stands for this is the female pose, this is the male pose. So since we're on the male, we're gonna click on one M. And then once you do that, it will auto populate back to the poses. That way you can click on more that you want to do. And in this case, we're going to. So we're going to since we did the first one, let's go ahead. We can we don't even have to go in order. We can do different ones if we wanted to. Um let's say let's do this one. So I want to do the fifth pose. So number five, and we're going to go to male. Okay. And then let's say you wanted to do a different pose. Like you didn't want to do none of these poses anymore. Just hit this X and it will auto populate back to all of your poses that you have. So you can go back and click on any other pose. And then let's say you wanted to do not this one. Let's say you wanted to do... One of the another pose. This is another pose of mine. And then it'll, see, it'll give you the option. This one says M1, so that means male number one, first pose. Female number one, first pose. That's the first pose. Okay, you guys understand? I hope so. And yeah, and so you can click on whichever pose you want to do, and it will do the same thing. Okay, repetitively. So those are the two poses that we want to do. Now we're done with his poses. Now we're going to click on the teleporter again, teleport a sim here, and we're going to click Milan. Now Milan shows up in her spot. This is how you want it to look. They have to be on top of each other for the pose to work. I cannot stress that enough, guys, because when I first downloaded poses and stuff like that, I put my teleporters next to each other, and then my sims, they weren't, like, connecting or nothing like that. Like for the poses, like if the poses were them like touching each other, it wouldn't happen because I didn't put the teleporters right. They have to be on top of each other for the pose to work. So now we're going to click on Milan. Click on your second sim, whichever one. And then we're going to go pose by pack. Now we're going to go find... The poses that we just did with the male or whoever your sim is, you just got to scroll and find it. There it is. This is the one that we did, pose requests. Now we did the first pose. Now that's the only thing is the poses, it does not tell you which one it is on here. So you kind of have to remember what you did, okay? So we did the first pose. We did as male. Now we're going to do F for female. So she does her pose when he does his once I press play. 
And then we did that one. And then I believe we did the five. We did the male. Now we're going to do her pose. So click on that. So now we're done. We can go ahead and press the X. Now, once we did that, me to make my thumbnails so it doesn't have like that plumb bob in the way. If you guys didn't know, for some that are maybe new to Sims 4, go ahead and hit Control Shift C. And that will bring up the cheats bar. So in that cheats bar to remove the plumb bob, type in headline effects off. Make sure you have both of the E's, the one E for headline and the one E for effects. You need that. And then space off. Hit enter, and it will tell you that their headline is off. No more plumb bob. Okay? And then if you want to turn that back on, all you got to do is just bring it up again. Hit control shift C and type in headline effects on. And it'll tell you it's back on. And now you see the plumb bob. Okay? But for my thumbnails, I don't I don't use my plumb bobs because I want it to look, you know, like it's an actual photo. So I just turned my plumb bob off. Now that you have your poses ready and you're ready to go, girl, go ahead and hit play. And they will automatically pose. Boom. See? And there you have it. And oh, they look so cute. I gotta take this photo. Yes, ma'am. That's so cute. And so if you want to, like what I just did, I just zoomed out a little bit. In order to do that, go into tap the tab button on your keyboard. Okay? Tap the tab button. And then on your mouse, that little scrolly thingy that's in the middle of the two clickers. Go ahead and scroll back and forth. And that's how you zoom in and zoom out. Okay, and so you can take like different angles, move your arrows around if you want to do different angles, like right there, like that's cute right there. I'm going to go ahead. And then for my keyboard to screen shoot, mine is the Windows button, the icon, Windows icon, Alt, and Print Screen. So Windows, Alt, Print Screen. And it says Print Screen on, print screen on the actual key, keyboard. On my keyboard it's at the way top it's like right above the backspace button it says print screen so you want to press the Windows alt print screen if your keyboard has that if it does not I'm sorry I have no idea how to take a screenshot on your computer okay so we got those we got those photos now to make them stop posing you can click on the sim whichever sim it doesn't matter and it will give you the option, stop posing. Or you can go shift click, shift click on the sim and reset for both of them. And then they stop posing. Okay, that's a simple pose right there. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do a pose for like if they're, if they're on a chair or something, okay? So if they wanna pose like on a chair or a bed, Go ahead and do the same thing over again, okay? Type in teleport and get your teleporter. And let's say you want to just do one sim for this pose. Make sure you put the teleporter in the middle of the object. That's the only way it's going to work. So let's say you have a pose you want to put, a pose that's like with one sim on a bed. Put the one teleporter in the middle of the bed. And if they were on the chair, Put them in the middle of the chair. Like that. And if you want to turn around your little Iron Man here, use the um, the keys on your keyboard of the period dot and the comma. So the period turns it that way and the comma turns it that way. Okay? Now let's say you had a chair, like a living room chair or something. Yeah, let's say like you had like like this chair or something. Obviously, I can't fit this here. So I'm going to have to go to my cheats and do bb.moveobjects. If you didn't know, 
Now you know. That's how you're able to move objects anywhere you want to in the room without you getting that red thingy. Okay, so I'm just showing you guys though. So let's say you have that chair or just any general chair and you want to do it like a chair pose. Take your teleporter and put it in the middle. Make sure you turn it because if you don't, that's the way your sim is going to be posing. So make sure you turn it straight and boom, there you go. I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring Milan here. I'm going to teleport Milan. Okay, she is in the room. Now I'm going to go look for my, my bed pose. Okay, yeah, well, I don't have any bed poses, you guys. I'm sorry, so I can't really show you how it works. But you guys get the gist of it. It works the same way as, like, when you take single poses. But just make sure the teleporter is in the middle of the bed, okay? But I do have a lot of chair poses. I don't have, like, a lot, but I do have a few chair poses. So we're going to do the same thing for chair poses. We want to put our teleporter in the middle of the object, the middle of the chair. So go ahead and click the teleport. And I'm going to teleport Milan over here. And then I'm going to click on her. And I'm going to find pose by pack. And now I'm going to find chair poses. Okay, so I got my poses ready. Now I'm going to hit play. Sometimes it takes a minute because your sim wants to lollygag, but there we go. So we got the first sitting chair pose right here. Now, as you can see, I selected multiple ones. So, And then if you want to go to the next pose, all you have to do is just make sure you hit the X, not those, because you want those. Hit this pose that she's doing. Oops. And it'll go to the next one. This is like a little bench that I have in the room. It probably looked better if it was like on an actual like armchair. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And then you can also like do this on the couch as well. If you have like couch poses that you download, it's the same concept. Just put the teleporter in the middle of the couch. Okay. Even if you just have one or even if you have one or two sims, it doesn't matter. So yeah, I'm doing all of these poses. Yeah, we got that pose. Oh, that's so cute. And yeah, that's basically how you do it, guys. And if you want, actually, if you want your sim to keep this photo, like let's say you just didn't want um, for your thumbnails for YouTube, have another sim that's in the household. In my situation, the bed is in the way, so my sim can't come directly in their face. But let's say I had Isaac come like right here. But that's probably going to be too close. Yeah. I'm going to have him go right here, actually. Even though it will be a little bit further, but we'll probably be able to zoom in. I don't know. Okay, go ahead and hit pause so this active sim does not move anywhere. And go to camera. Sorry, my stuff is slow, y'all. I'm trying to, I'm moving quicker than my game. Okay, go to the camera and hit take photo. Don't do take photo of or nothing like that. Just click take photo. Okay, once you do that, it will put you in the photo mode. And there you go. And then you can take a photo of your sim. Me personally, I don't like the flash because it makes it too bright. But yeah, you can choose the different, um, whatchamacallits, filters for your photos. Um, that one's cute, but I like the regular one just fine. You can change the orientation so you can do this way or that way. And then just take a couple because sometimes when you take photos from the Sims phone, it doesn't come out good. So just take, take like a couple of them, okay, of um, both orientations. And then if you have the Machino stuff pack which is the the whole photography pack go into build mode and if your sim has enough money and get the um camera stand and the camera and then there you have more options to choose from maybe I, i'll show you guys so you guys can have a better understanding especially if you're new to sims so the machino stuff pack um i usually just go to i click on this here that shows me of, of all the objects that i have and you'll find it in activities and skills. Just click that button there. 
and let me see here here it is this is what it looks like this is the photo stand okay we're gonna put that there and then they don't have enough money to afford the good cameras the good quality cameras so I'm just gonna get the crystal clear camera okay damn that shit was two thousand dollars yeah we're gonna sell that <laughs> oh but make sure you get that before your sim um, before you make your sim pose, if you want this camera. So let's just say she's posing. We're going to have him take a photo. I'm just showing you guys the gears that's in this. It's a little bit more than the phone camera. So as you can see, see, it gives you more options. You can zoom out. You can zoom in. You can also turn the camera and stuff like that. You can turn it just to get like a better angle and you can turn it back and then you can also change the photo size so you can do like a small one that goes like on a dresser or the shelf medium one that can go on the wall or the dresser but it I would but rather you put it on the wall and then you have the large photo that that goes on the wall too and then like this here is for like if you just if your sim wasn't if you didn't have them posing and you just want to take a picture of them this comes with like the maxis and you click on the camera and then like this just gives you different poses that your sims will do okay and then again with the filter so it just gives you more options with the zoom in and the rotation and stuff and the sizes of your photos okay guys okay you guys so i'm gonna end my video here i hope you guys all enjoyed this pose pack video i hope it was helpful too um yeah guys go get you some poses especially if you're new to sims 4 i hope this video helped you and everything um but yeah, there's a bunch of poses out there. I've um, reblogged some poses on my Tumblr. Again, go ahead and follow me. That I have like all free CC there on my page that I repost and stuff like that. And the link to my Tumblr will also be in the description if you forget. But it's Sims4LXO, okay? You can't miss it. It's the same name as my YouTube, okay? I hope this video was helpful and useful to you guys. Now go download some poses, okay? And get your sims looking cute for them thumbnails. Catch you guys in another video. Bye.